Hello and welcome to my channel, The Blessed Physicist. In the previous video, we uh, did an example on linear harmonic oscillator, and in this video, we are going to take another example of Lagrange equation of motion, which is simple pendulum. Uh, before we proceed, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Okay, now everyone knows what is simple pendulum. Okay. We know these steps to be followed to obtain the equation of motion using Lagrange equations of motion. The first step is to uh, calculate kinetic energy. Second step is to calculate uh, uh, potential energy. Third step is to calculate L. Fourth step is to calculate the quantities that are included in the Lagrange equation of motion, which is curly L by curly uh, QJ dot and curly L by curly QJ. And the last step is to put these in Lagrange equation of motion and we are going to get the equation of motion. Okay, so let us first do our first step which is to calculate kinetic energy. Kinetic energy T is equal to half m v square or we can say half m x dot square if x is our displacement okay so uh, how to calculate this arc length we know that angle is equal to arc length upon radius so our angle here is theta our arc length let us uh, denote it by x and our radius is l okay so our arc length x becomes equal to l into theta so our x dot will be equal to l theta dot let us substitute it here so t is equal to half m l theta dot square right so uh, we have done our first step the second step is to calculate potential energy so to calculate the potential energy revise that potential energy is equal to m g h now what is height in this system so the height is equal to o a minus o c h is equal to o a minus o c what is o a isn't it equal to l the uh, radius this l is equal to this so h is equal to l now what is oc oc is l cos theta minus l cos theta so our h is equal to l 1 minus cos theta okay so let us substitute it here v is equal to mg l 1 minus cos theta now uh, our third step is to calculate L which is T minus V. Our T was half M uh, L theta dot square minus M G L 1 minus cos theta. Okay, so uh, let us solve it. L is equal to half M L square theta dot square minus mg l1 minus cos theta so our fourth step is to calculate the quantities like curly l by curly theta dot uh, the generalized coordinate is theta and our generalized velocity is theta dot so we have to calculate curly l by curly theta dot which is equal to um, m l square theta dot right and uh, our curly l by curly theta is equal to mgl sine theta with a negative sign then just check it out our fifth step is to substitute these two back into our lagrange equation of motion so d by dt of curly l by curly theta dot minus curly l by curly theta is equal to zero so when we substitute we get d by dt of uh, ml square theta dot 
माइनस ऑफ माइनस एम जी एल साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वट वी गेट इज एम एल स्क्वेर थीटा डबल डॉट प्लस एम जी एल साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो लेट इज डिवाइड दिस होल इक्वेशन विद एम एल स्क्वेर सो वी गेट थीटा डबल डॉट प्लस जी बाय एल साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज आर इक्वेजन ऑफ मोशन फॉर सिंपल पेंडुलम वेयर द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ ऑसिलेशन इज इक्वल टू टू पाई अंडर रूट एल बाय जी बिकॉज दिस इज आर ओमेगा ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट जी बाय एल एंड टाइम पीरियड इज इक्वल टू टू पाई बाय ओमेगा विच मेक्स इट टू पाई अंडर रूट एल बाय जी ओके बिफोर यू लीव प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड डोंट फोर गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू गेट नोटिफाइड एज सुन एज आई अपलोड अ न्यू वीडियो सो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल बी डूइंग सम अदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लिग्रांज इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन